this video, I want to go over a bunch of PlayStation 5 game reveals, updates, things of that nature, and also we got a release date on Samurai Warriors 5. That's going to be out relatively soon, uh, a little bit into the summer, so we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, I want to talk a couple of games that may be going a little bit under the radar. First of all, this is one that completely caught my eye, and it is a cyberpunk game called Foreclosed. Really cool art style in it. I know cyberpunk, the genre, is kind of in focus right now after cyberpunk 2077 maybe people are looking for a higher quality cyberpunk title i didn't completely hate cyberpunk 2077 was it up to the quality standards that was promised and the content that was there? Okay, yeah, we can debate about that all day long, and you'll probably win that debate as far as it being a disappointment, a colossal one at that. But let's talk about Foreclosed. Foreclosed is noted to be a narrative-driven action-adventure game set in a cyberpunk world filled with action, suspense, and experimental augmentations. Follow the story of Evan Kopnos in this sleek comic book-style game as he unravels the conspiracy behind his identity foreclosure, who is responsible and why why art style again is super slick i would definitely like the comic book look to this game i'm trying to draw a resemblance to something and there's definitely games that go for similar art styles i just can't think of one off the top of my head but I'm digging the vibe of the game. It combines the playability of video games with the sleek visual aesthetic of comic books. Everything from gameplay to cinematics are experienced within this stylistic framework of a graphic novel, full screen and comic panel perspectives, and seamlessly blended as you move throughout foreclosed cyberpunk city, uncovering a gripping conspiracy story. Cutscenes are also interactive and transition smoothly between alternative gameplay styles. Again, uh, if you like a game with this comic book look, I think it'll be up your alley. It's definitely a little bit different than the comic book, like, cutscenes that were in Infamous, uh, per se, but I'm liking what I see out of Foreclosed. This will be coming to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 this summer, available both physically and digitally on consoles. We don't have a price point for it at this stage. I imagine it would be around $30 to $40, maybe a little bit less than that. I'm not exactly sure as far as that's concerned, but one game I did want to bring some attention to because it's not being talked about that much who knows it could end up surprising a lot of people at the very least keep your eye on it might be one that you end up enjoying later this year okay next up we have a survival horror action title and that is tormented souls this is being published by pq coming from developers dual effect and abstract digital it's a survival horror game noted to be inspired by the original resident evil and alone in the dark series with a fresh twist on the fixed perspective adventure tormented souls modernizes for a new generation as caroline walker investigates the mysterious disappearance of twin girls in a terrifying mansion i don't know how much you guys are into throwbacks of the original Resident Evil and games like that. They're not really my cup of tea, but I do understand that there are definitely an audience for Tormented Souls deliberately sets out to draw inspiration from classic survival horror titles from Resident Evil and Silent Hill to Alone in the Dark. Tormented Souls is a modern take on that adventure. You'll need much more than a steady aim and sharp reflexes to make it all alive. Search the environment for anything that you can use to your advantage. Cleverly combine items to solve puzzles and use every resource available to explore the secrets of the mansion and its grounds. Nothing is quite as it seems at Winter Lake. Mirrors provide a path to an alternate reality and another place in time. By crossing these shimmering gateways, Caroline can manipulate the very fabric of reality in surprising ways, turning the situation to her advantage. Horror games aren't really, you know, a genre that I'm super, super into. You know, I definitely like playing them during Halloween time and things like that. But I do know there's this audience of people that just want you know, classic horror games, and I feel like Tormented Souls could be that. Now, this was supposed to get a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version. Unfortunately, those versions have been canceled and are no longer planned. It will be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and then it will also be coming to Nintendo Switch. So they are getting it on a lesser powerful platform. I'm sure they'll get it to run fine on the Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately it won't be coming to PS4 and Xbox One, so a little bit of a bummer there, but you'll be able to get it physically or digitally if you're interested. By the way, the physical and digital copy will only be for PS5 and Nintendo Switch, and it'll be available digitally for Xbox Series and PC when it releases later in 2021. Okay, next up, Subnautica Below Zero is headed to PlayStation 5 and pretty much every other major platform on May 14th. Uh, this is being published by Bandai Namco. Obviously, Subnautica has been around for a very long time, seeing a lot of success on 
PC. Still in early access with this Below Zero. Not a game that I got super into on PC, but I do know a lot of my buddies got super into it and are into this, you know, open world survival uh, type of game. And having it on the PlayStation 5, I'm sure it'll run relatively well on there. Uh, price point wise, it does go for $29.99, um, which is a relatively decent price, but it is noted as, as that is the early access price. The price of Subnautica Below Zero will increase by 25% when the final version is released. So chances are the PlayStation 4 version, PlayStation 5 version will be $39.99. And uh, yeah, I still think that's a pretty decent price for a game like this. Especially given that these games are designed for an incredible amount of replayability. By the way, Below Zero has been very, very well received on PC. 28,000 Steam user reviews, 93% of those reviews being positive. So Again, pretty decent reception as far as things are considered with that. Okay, the Persistence Enhanced Edition has also been announced for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. If you do have the Persistence, this will be a free upgrade, so yeah, not gonna have to pay anything for that. It is noted the Persistence Enhanced challenges you to survive aboard a doomed deep space colony starship in the year 2521, overrun with horrific and murderous aberrations with light, lightning and user, exper uh, user experience enhancements and ray tracing dialing up the atmosphere and tension immersive haptic feedback is also supported on the dual sense for the playstation 5 stranded malfunctioning and caught in the noxurable pull of a black hole the persistence is overrun with a crew mutated into horrific and murderous aberrations it's down to you a clone of security officer zimri Eder, to make your way across deeper in the decks of the persistence to repair the systems and prevent the ship from being torn apart so that is due out sometime in 2021. Thankfully, it is a free upgrade. I mean, with a game like this, you probably couldn't get away with charging for an upgrade, nor do I think they wanted to do that anyway. They seem, the Fire Sprite seems to be pretty cool about that kind of stuff. So good on them. The Persistence was relatively well received when it originally came out. So you can check it out on the PlayStation 5 with some upgrades and things like that. This is a game that runs in both standard and VR modes, uh, but it does not require a VR headset. So you can play it without the VR headset. Lastly, I do want to note Samurai Warriors 5 has been getting quite a bit of attention. It'll be coming to PC, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. A lot of questions were asked about the release date of the game and it is going to be coming very very soon july 27th i mean very very soon might be a little bit of a stretch but you get the idea not that far away five months and get to see some games coming in the middle of the summer i always thought it was kind of weird how games never released in the you know just in the middle of the summer last year we got ghost of tsushima obviously not originally scheduled for a july release but hey drop some games in june july august i think they'll do relatively well especially the month of july it's always usually relatively quiet so a game like samurai warriors 5 might actually get a decent bit of attention there will be a digital deluxe edition available worldwide and that'll include some downloadable items uh so yeah you can check that out july 27th in the west and then june 24th in japan and that's gonna conclude this video again a lot to go over in this one foreclosed is definitely the game that caught my eye this morning definitely excited to check that out sometime in the summer hopefully you know fingers crossed with the release being intact tormented souls for you horror buffs probably something you'll dig subnautica below zero dropping may 14th persistence is getting enhanced edition and samurai warriors 5 is dropping on july 27th here in the west that's gonna wrap up this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye